So we're on to day two with Cape York Wild Adventures. We've come down to an inlet which runs all the way through to Aracoon. So it's gonna have a lot more saltwater presence than what there was yesterday. So we'll be targeting a lot of look, queen fish, um, barra of course, and then you know some mangrove jacks. And once we get closer to the, um, the actual, the Arafura Sea, you're gonna you know, target anything that's gonna be there. So looking forward to a pretty good day, obviously in great weather again, as it always is up here in the Cape. Yeah, we're just scooting along here and thought, oh, that'd be a good place for a, uh, a barra. And there was a just a log sort of poking out. He just, just ducked his head back under now. Guilty. With a little clouds, or it's been pretty hard going. I'll just sit around. There's a tree just all by itself, and so put a cast out there, and sure enough, come up and grabbed it. Go, nice little queen fish, only a couple of pounds, but um, yeah, they certainly put up a bit of a fight. Well worth playing with. Fantastic. We'll get him back in the water. Well, just saw it like a tree, which is a bit fresh in the water, and uh, come over and had a few casts. And uh, what appears to be, I think it'll be a mangrove jack. It's come out and hit. I've got a big uh, black thing, a solid fish, and he wants to go back to his home. But um, big black thing, and he's come out and just walloped it. So. Uh, a good solid fighting fish. Just try and keep him out of his home there. There we go. Beautiful. That is a nice fish. Fantastic. Thanks, mate. Yeah. The first uh, mangrove jack in the Cape, and you just have a look at the set of chompers on that one. You wouldn't want to be putting your fingers anywhere near there. But just a superb fighting fish, plenty of go in it. It's quite thick across the back, and they eat pretty good too. These uh, mangrove jack, oh, don't they? Absolutely just, beautiful, yeah, mate. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. Very good. Release back. There's probably still another couple of fish. I think that's the beauty too. You come to a place like this, you get one fish out of it. Doesn't mean that's the end of it. There's, that's going to even excite more takes. So concentrate your casts again in those areas, and you're going to pick up more fish. It looks like a lovely beach over there. Well, uh, be perfect to get over there and have a picnic. You'd be uh, do pretty well, don't you think, over there? Oh, mate, not what I've seen over there. I wouldn't like to set foot on the beach over there, you know. Oh, we hit up. There was quite a few fish. Uh, Al just busted in the top. Yep. What is it? It's a fish. <laughs> Coin fish. Yeah. <laughs> that? Good job, Al. Yeah. Good day, uh, queen fish. Good, good account of themselves, aren't they? They're uh, a pretty solid fish, and you know, he, uh, yeah, you certainly love that fly. Just something a little bit smaller, mm. so it's perfect. Yep. 
Good. Perfect. Hello, well, how's your first uh, queen fish? What do yep. you think of the Cape? Uh, fantastic, yep. Great experience. Well worth the visit. You would constantly see small fires and that's how they do it up in the Cape. Literally just light a fire, that's their fire break. And they do it during the winter when it's much more controllable. Uh, it protects them during the, the hotter summer months. It's about two o'clock we've just got the tide starting to come in and you can just sort of see there on your screen now like a lot of that water's all a little bit ripply everywhere so there's obviously some bait fish in there that are uh, getting a little bit of rest and uh, with a bit of luck Alex's going to put a little clouser pattern in front of one of them and uh, you'll hook up in a second. Out to the, they're going out to the right. Right, yep, yep, you good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just good, solid fighting fish, aren't they? They, uh, yeah, run and pull and do everything. <laughs> a bit, Al. Yeah, for huh? a little fish, yeah. give you a bit of a workout. Need to work out a little bit more, Al. I think. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. If you can just see here, we've gone down to a um, just a smaller little clouser or like even a Charlie, just to imitate like a little prawn or a little bait fish, and that's what they seem to take. So, uh, well worth a good fly change, Al. Thanks. Now catch another one. <laughs> Just uh, got up here into a little backwater and um, managed to hit a queenie. Um, been a bit tough today actually, but uh, you've got to work hard for your fish sometimes. Pretty pleased with this one. If we can get him in the boat, get a good photo, it'd be fantastic. Right, or yours, maybe. I think. Beautiful. Good work. Oh, the yeah. nice queenies are good, they're just nice and aggressive fish and um, a good count for themselves. Okay, he's going in. Hopefully a croc won't get me. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Happy well, that's it. Larry. Yeah. Looks like it might be the end of the day. I think one of the, the great things about um, the area is there's so many different environments you, you get to fish in. Like we, we fished what we they called the pump hole. Uh, we fished that quite a few times. It was great. Then Hagen's Lagoon and then down to the, the estuaries and, and the river mouths. You're fishing such a variety of, of different places that it's, it's just quite a, a stimulating area to fish. There was a mangrove jack that we caught there and they literally pulled you, you, the rod out of your hands. They're an amazing fish. We got one that was probably, I don't know, might have been four or five pound, but it just felt like your 20 pound barramundi. That was just no stopping it. So you're gonna have a lot of different fish that are all great fun to catch. So um, it's certainly the place to go.